total economic output of the Latino community uh, in the U.S. was $2.8 trillion, according to the most recent data, and this is from 2020. Does that year sound familiar? That was uh, the COVID year, but that still equivalent to the fifth largest economy in the world, larger than uh, the GDPs of the UK, of India, or even France. Uh, talk about more on the economic influence of Latinos in the U.S. Let's welcome Trujillo Group Chairman Saul Trujillo, whose Latitude uh, Conference features former President Obama, Brian Cornell, Lynn Manuel Miranda, and Saul Trujillo. Among, <laughs> I don't want to leave that out. Uh, we're in San Diego, uh, and thanks for uh, for joining us. So for, first, let's just talk. I mean, these, welcome. Well, let me say well, good morning. Say welcome to me. Yeah. Welcome to the West Coast, Joe. Welcome to both of us. Thank you. Uh, the numbers you would have thought could have been impacted negatively since 2020 was a COVID year. Not the case. You move. Uh, I think Latino cohort moved from what eighth in the world to fifth. Yes. In, since 2015. Yes. So, so the, the the engine of growth in the United States today. There's a cohort that's driving. 70% of most of the growth in the United States today. It's kind of the boy, uh, which is the U.S. Latino cohort. And leapfrogging France, U.K., and India is huge. Fifth largest economy right here within our borders. And it's a conservative set of numbers. But the punchline to your question is, is that with COVID, the, the, the true patriots that were on the front line during the COVID period, you know, working, serving all of us in various sectors, were the Latino cohort, and they were horribly affected yeah. with illnesses, deaths. Number one cause of death, and yes. number three among non-Latino. So really sad. We were anxious to see the data of how resilient this cohort would be, and obviously the data shows that even in a COVID period of time, you go out and work, you serve everybody that's out there that needing help, needing services and whatever, and... And, you know, it's a story of true patriotism of helping an economy like ours continue to grow. Most staggering thing when you look at, at the report uh, that you do is in terms of just uh, uh, growth and percentage of what we're talking about, Latinos are, are a majority of usually growing faster, uh, attaining higher education more quickly than non-Latinos, uh, wages going up more quickly. Uh, and most of the population growth we've seen over the past five years, how much of that has been Latino? Well, it's about 70 percent. 70 percent. That you keep saying 70 percent, and, and this is the number for a lot of these. Yes, a, a lot of these statistics. Well, and, and that's really the important part. You know, growing an economy always requires a growing labor force. It requires growing educational attainment. There's some really driver variables here, and this cohort now is the driver variable that's that's enabling us. Uh, I think uh, Steve Forbes said it at an event we had recently, where he said the U. The, he doesn't call them Latinos. Hispanics uh, are like the cavalry already coming over the hill to save our economy because we're aging. We have the baby boomers. That, right. you know, well, yeah, what's the average age of the Latino cohort? So, well, well, I'll give you a, a slightly different number. Okay. If you look at zero to 100 in terms of age grouping, the most populated age of the Latino cohort is 11. And if you look at the Anglo-American cohort, the most populated age is 58. So you can see the difference in terms of a fresh economy. That's why India is growing. That's why Malaysia, Indonesia, Nigeria, other countries growing economies. You need that youth cohort, and you need them in volume and in size. Mm -hmm. And so, so we have that. But the key here is that they're entrepreneurs. They're creating businesses. At 52% at of all net new businesses created that employ people, are being built by Latino, 52%. Latino founders. 52%. The numbers are, are 52%, 52 uh, of all new home sales, new home mortgages, are being taken out by this Latino cohort. But what's interesting about it, to your point, Joe, is that sometimes family members are going together to buy a home. They believe in the American dream. Mm 